Well, it's December 4th. We've got uh, Beeble's butt on the run, Mr. Buddy. We're gonna let him out, maybe toss a couple of quail for him. Whoa. Okay. Good boy, good boy, Mr. Bud. Buddy Bud. So Mr. Buddy has lots of run. He's a strong, three-and-a-half-year-old intact male Brittany. We'll be looking at his pedigree later. I've got a bag on my shoulder with uh, a half a dozen quail in it, and maybe you can hear the quail crying about it. But Buddy says, well, you got the quail. I'll just stay right here. Okay, bud. Okay, bud. He normally works, we go out in this field every other day in the morning for a nice mile walk. And he'll work, oh, medium range most of the time. Now, if he ever found some quail out here anywhere where there are none, he'd work a little bigger. So he'll work whatever range you wanna work. When we hunt pheasants, we like close to close. When we hunt uh, sharp tails and huns up in Montana, we like medium to big and he can adapt to all of it. He's taking a, a cast there, out. Buddy, there is not a quail in there. There might be a dove. He works the edges. He also goes in and works the thick stuff. So if I wanted him to work back, all I'd have to do is hit the tone button on his e-collar. We don't use whistles, we don't yell, we don't hack. Again, we're mostly pheasant hunters, so we like to run on quiet. See that, he naturally turned. I have not given him any commands whatsoever, and he comes back and checks in. Right, big guy? Okay. Look at the drive that he has. He's like a muscle machine. Always checking in, always wanting to be with me. We hunt together. Right, buddy? Working the edge. Again, all I'd have to do is touch the tone button on the e collar, and I could have restricted them to twice that range. But since we like to run and get exercise out here in this field, we just let him rock and roll. Good boy, good boy. He's on the run over there. And turning back. He doesn't do hand signals, but if I walk to the right, he'll get out ahead of me and hunt to the right. I walk to the left, he'll get out ahead of me and walk to the left. I just tossed a quail. And he's after it. I can't really see the quail, you can't either on this video, but it appears that quail went into that tree line over there which will be very difficult to find. But certainly Buddy wanted to get that quail. I'd say that's about 200 yards out. Okay, this time we pulled some feathers. Golly, did that one fly in also? <laughs> okay, we'll start flipping quail somewhere else where we don't have quite a tree line for them to get into. Again, about 200 yards out. He's working it. 
trying to find that bird. Okay, check with you later. What a speed demon. Good boy. Load up. Good boy. Good boy, Mr. Bud.